Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make uh, skins for Minecraft the fastest and easiest way. Um, it'll be fastest when you get good with the program. But um, it's with a program called Paint.net. Now, if you've never heard of this, it's a really great program um, as a replacement or an upgrade um, of Microsoft Paint. Um, now, you can use this uh, Paint.net. For so much stuff, you can use it for uh, texture packs and skins for Minecraft. You can use it for thumbnails, um, uh, titles, and endings for uh, videos. Uh, like when you're, uh, for instance, in um, Movie Maker, instead of using the crappy titles that you can make in there, you can make it on uh, Paint.net first, and it you can make it look a lot better. There's a lot more tools, and it's a really powerful program. Uh, so I really suggest installing that. Um, but let's get started. So um, first, what you're gonna do is click on the link in the description. Um, it's from the Minecraft wiki. You're just gonna have to do this once. You're gonna have to set up the skin thing, like making the skin, and then you'll be good forever. You won't have, you'll never have to do this again unless you delete it, of course. But you'll never have to do this again. So bear with me. Let's get through this real quick. Uh, just all you gotta do is save this image here. Uh, save it. I would make a folder for skin specifically. Open it up in Paint.net and um, click on this tool. The magic. It's called the magic wand. And set tolerance down to somewhere around 50 percent. Uh, 15 percent doesn't really matter. And just start clicking on the black squares and deleting them. Next, what you're going to do is go to Image, Resize, and resize it to be 64 by 32. Make sure you're in pixels and not inches. Uh, then you want to click OK. Then you're going to zoom in. Now, at this point, you can be done with this step. Or if you're like me, you can uh, fill fill all these boxes with a solid color. That's what I did. But if you don't want to do anything else and you want to start making your skin, you can be done. And save this as. Make sure you click Save As, not Save. And we just name it uh, Edit Skin Template. That's why I have it named. And click OK. So now you should have in your skin folder, you should have this and this. The template, which you should open back up, is as a reference. So when you're making your skin, you know, oh, I'm editing my skin. I'm going to go back to this and uh, use as a reference to when you're editing stuff. Like you, now I know this is the head. So this is where I want to draw my face. So I'll just I'm gonna just gonna show you a few of the cool things you can do with this that you can't do with other skin making programs. Um, a fast way to fill in a big area: pick your color. Uh, make sure you can select primary or secondary. Pick a color. Uh, this looks like a good skin color. Um, fill in this whole thing, and just hit backspace, and it'll fill in the whole color. If you wanted to, you could also switch to the uh, this bucket tool right here. But it's just faster if you hit the backspace button. It'll fill in whatever you have highlighted in that um, area. Now that's not that impressive, not that cool. So don't be like, oh man. Um, maybe there's a lot other stuff you can do. Um, also, what's ever boxed in is the only thing you can edit. So if I box in this whole square, I can only edit this square. I can draw it here all the time, but, and it won't do anything. Um, noise. So when you're finished with the skin, I'm just going to real quick throw together... Um, the skin. So I'll just fast forward this part. Oh, real quick, this right here, this is the head accessory. If you don't know what this is, experiment around with it. Um, but if you don't want a head accessory, just delete that all and leave that gone. All right. So I made this. This is just a head with a green giant green suit on so if I compare it to this image I see head front so there's his face head top you know and then all the body and stuff is just a green so if I were to load this it would just be a head with a green body um, another thing helpful when making skins is a, a, a grid which will show each individual pixel so you can use that to help you if you want um, uh, now, now this, if you load this, this would be kind of bland. I mean, it's just all one color. Now, of course, when you're making yours, your guy might have a button-up shirt on. 
let's still say everything else was black. He was wearing a black jacket, like he made a suit. He was wearing a black jacket. Now it kind of looked kind of boring with everything being like just a solid black color. So if you want to add some texture in there, you can go to effects, down to noise, and click add noise. Uh, just lower color saturation to zero if you want it just to be variations of the colors it's on. And then lower that down and you can just add a little bit of texture to make it look, you know, it gives the skin some texture. You'll see most skins have this. And some programs already have this, so it, there are other stuff. But I'll just show you about this, add, adding noise. Um, if you only want to add noise, now here's where it gets, this program gets better. Say you only want to add noise to his head, like his face, and you want the suit to be a solid green color. Use this tool, highlight only that part, or what part you want it to be. If you want to also be over here to be um, have some noise, Hold control and you can add another box in. If you hold control, you can add as many boxes in as you want. But uh, back to what I was doing. And now only what's boxed in will be, um, noise will be added to. So now see only this part where I boxed in. So other programs can't do that. Another cool thing is, I don't know, let's see, this is called, uh, I, I kind of call it like shiny, adding shine. Um, box it in the area you want to have shine though. So I'll just do his whole front body and side. So I can look at this and be like, oh, okay, so I know that will be. And uh, add a little bit more on. Now I'm holding control while doing this. Okay. And I uh, click this. And you can use this and it kind of adds this cool um, transition. And these two colors can be any colors you want. So if I want, I can have green on one side and the other side can be blue and it'll transition from green to blue and uh, if I want to add a little bit of more make blue a little bit darker and I can make more blue like I can make blue dominant or I can make green I got the dominant color but this thing is really cool um, um, effect you can do those are just a few of the basics I mean there's obviously a lot of more stuff you can do um, all this stuff, adjustments, effects, utilities, um, windows, just look into this, try and really learn as much as you can, because this can be used so much, I mean, every time I use this, I find new applications, so really, it's just a program that's awesome. Alright, so once you have all those files, um, you know, you're using your skin, you made or whatever, and you're ready to make another skin, open paint.net uh, up, click open, <clears throat> and open up the edit skin template. Uh, and then just like last time create your skin from this and then just save as when you're after so if I want this to be my skin okay and I'm just gonna do save as and <clears throat> make sure you do save as and I'm just gonna save it as test PNG and then when you look in there in your folder now you have your new skin plus those two um, of course you'd open this back up again so you can use it as a reference and you'll just have make sure you save as so this doesn't get saved over because you're going to keep using this over and over again so if you're ready to make a skin now you're bored of that skin so you make another skin open that back up make your skin and save as again and name your skin so that's all if you you download this program and you really like it uh, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching